Hi. It's been a few days. I've had a lot done. Um, it's been my weekend, so I've been off work and got a, ugh, a lot done. I picked up my dress, and it's gorgeous, and it fits me fine, and it looks great, and it's set up so I can pull it up and make a bustle in the back and look cute and be able to walk and dance instead of tripping all over the place during the rehearse, the reception. Um, I actually found the perfect shoes to wear with my rehearsal dinner dress. It was a pair that my mother bought me for Christmas a couple years ago. They're ultra cute and they're the perfect color. I couldn't believe it. I have a lot of shoes, so my shoes don't get worn a lot sometimes. <laughs> So, this is, I, I think it's great. I'm just wearing my favorite pair of shoes with this cute dress that I found. Um, I did get the cake serving pieces set ordered. Uh, I went in today. If you notice, my hair probably looks better than it normally does. I went in for and had a massive conditioning treatment. I was in the salon for an hour and a half getting my hair back to a healthy selfie. Woo! <laughs> so I'm excited. It's, you know, I'm going to keep moisturizing and conditioning it. I got products to maintain it until the wedding. Um, the dentist yesterday, because I had really bad teeth, okay, you have no idea. Um, I had a lot of grinding problems, a lot of stress from a previous marriage with a lot of abuse and after a rape that. I ground down my teeth from the stress. It's it's horrible, um, but I'm. It's like a major answer to prayer in my whole life. You know, these last few years I've been ashamed of my mouth, and it's all going to be repaired in time for the wedding. So I love to smile, and I'll be able to smile and feel good about myself and look good for the pictures in the wedding. And also, my hair will look <laughs> not so fried. I <laughs> uh, picked out tuxedos. Oh, my God. Almost walked out of the tux shop. The guy's very lucky that I want to use their place because I have two groomsmen, one in Washington and the other one in Oregon, so I need a nationwide place so they can get measured and just keep things as simple as possible because Nathan and I almost walked out on this guy. I think he thought he was being really funny, but you don't joke like this, especially to a woman. He looked at me and said, excuse me, what are you? He's like, oh, are you his mother? Am I his mother? Do I look like I could be the mother of a grown man? I mean, that's not funny. I mean, yeah, Nathan's a little younger than me, but what? Oh, that pissed me off. And then the girl, his boss was standing there and kind of corrected him, but she's not much better. She has, sitting on the desk, this bottle of scented lotion. Now, there are people with allergies to lots of scented lotions, and it's just kind of rude and just gross and unprofessional. She just opens it up and is just sitting there putting lotion on her hands. I guess she thinks this is cool? Fortunately, it wasn't a scent that was too strong that affected my allergies, but how disgusting. I really am disappointed, and all they had were patent leather shoes for the men, the grooms, men for the Texas. I'm like, do you not have anything that's just a matte finish, just a simple black matte finish? Because I don't want patent leather shoes for the guys. I love patent leather. My wedding shoes are patent leather. But I don't want the groomsmen. Oh, gosh. So I have made a decision. I'm just going to call them up and cancel the shoes, parts of the tuxedo, and let the guys get their own black shoes. As long as they're not dirty old sneakers, I'll be fine. I really just don't like patent leather black shoes. They couldn't understand that I wanted black tux, black vest, black Euro tie. They kept trying to push color on me and thinking, well, isn't it going to be too much? It's going to look... I'm like, excuse me? I know what I want. I have a reason for it. Back off. 
Now, because we are ordering three tuxes, we actually can get one free. So I was thinking for my father, since he's walking me down the aisle and he is going to be doing the ceremony, we may just stick him in the free tux. His will have a color tie because my mother has asked me, please, she doesn't want him to look like a groomsman. They have a latte brown that will match the colors of the girls' dresses, so it will look good. So I will do that. And he, he he's fine with not wearing the stupid glossy patent leather shoes for guys. But, yeah, I've got a lot done. I still need to get all the ribbons and everything over to my mother so she can start making the bows. I need to get some dried flower, you know, or well, silk flower bouquet t to toss and find a garter. And I think that's it. We finalize all of the plans on the beginning of October. We're getting lots more RSVPs in. I'm feeling overwhelmed, but I'm really excited and I feel truly blessed and loved by everybody. This is just going to be a great celebration. My family, Nathan's family, they're just wonderful people and they're happy for us. So there's no family bickering. I don't have to deal with that kind of stress. So it's wonderful just that everybody's in a very celebratory mood. The bridal showers of brunch and found out what my future mother in law is making. It's her delicious oh, fruit custard kind of pie thing is so good. Mm. So, yeah, I did almost go bridezilla on that and the tuck shop. Oh, and I explained to them that Nathan's not getting going to be wearing their tuxes, and yet they still wanted me to pick the bow, the buttons, black buttons with silver on the outlining because my wedding ring is just used white gold, and so is Nathan's. They're like, well, you usually have the button outline match the rings and I'm like but why the groomsmen aren't wearing our wedding rings I thought that was ridiculous I don't want silver in my wedding my wedding is fall colors ivory tones gold tones I kept saying no I want black with the gold and they kind of just kind of rolled their eyes at me and thought I was crazy I guess and the the groomsmen are going to have like an ivory shirt. And I'm thinking, if you have an ivory shirt, why would you put silver? That wouldn't look right. The gold is better. Personally, I prefer if it was just a solid black. But they want the cufflink buttons with some color. So it's going to be gold. I don't care what they thought. You can tell I really was not impressed with these people. Oh, my son's t um, kilt text was ordered. So I have... The, that was that was horrible trying to measure. Let me tell you, trying to measure a two and a half year old, he's just a wiggle worm. And then he wanted his toes measured too. And every it was cute and funny, you know. Poor daddy is all here's your toe and your fingers because he got into it. But when I was trying to measure him, he was just this wiggle worm all over the place. That's where I'm at with the wedding. Oh, by the way, if you want to know this place, it was the men's warehouse in Boise. Seriously? Unless, if it wasn't because I needed to use them, I wouldn't be. Not after the treatment from today. Bye.